Matt, first competitive game, poor day, a poor result at the end of the day. Yeah, I think that's about as polite a way as you could put it, isn't it? Um, you, can't, you can't play a game in rugby league no matter who you're playing against, no matter how good your players are, um, if you're going to turn the amount of ball over that we did. Um, I absolutely shudder to think I haven't looked yet what our completion stats must be. They must be absolutely awful. Um, and that's what that's why we fell away, I think, and finished the game really poorly because we'd had to defend so much uh, with turning the ball over. But the the few times, <coughs> excuse me, that we did get to the end of our sets, we offered a real threat, um, regardless of where we were on the field. We just didn't do it enough times. I reckon four or five times in the game was all we probably did it, um, and it's not enough, not at any level, and certainly not against a team like York who were pretty workmanlike. And uh, was it early second half for a drop ball and they go into the field, which really starts to open the gap up? The drop balls all the way through mm -hmm. the game. I know the one you're talking about. Again, we were we were offering the threat. We were looking dangerous on that edge. George has jumped out and made a bit of space, and for whatever reason, we're not able to execute a simple a simple pass and put it into a pair of pair of our players' hands. Um, Okay, you know, so four points to nil, and, and that if we get something or get into the corner and get build some pressure, we may get a score, and and the game changes, doesn't it? So you go from potentially being being level or maybe even in front to to ten points down, and puts a completely different complexion on it straight away. Is it players trying to work too hard and, and and impress with it being the first competitive game that they just take lack concentration or? Um, because the, the conditions are the same for both sides, and you know completion should be the same for, roughly for for both sides. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Obviously, it's something that we need to sit down and I need to go through the game and, and dissect the game a little bit and speak to speak to our our decision makers and our key players and see what's um, what's going through their minds at certain points. Because at that, you know, there was a point in the middle of the first half where somebody just needed to to grab hold of the game and say, right, oh, here we go. This is what we need to do. Let's get to the end of some sets. Let's build some field position. Um, and nobody, nobody seemed to do that. We had a game plan. We had a way that we wanted to play um, that was was still achievable under the conditions. Um, and we just didn't get anywhere near that. Um, and we allowed York too much, too much ball, too much field position, and, and eventually they'll, they'll get over the line. Now we've got another game next week in Barrow in the Challenge Cup, and that's going to be another tough tie. There's, there's sort of four or five on the bounce of, of, of the sides that are going to be up at the top end of this division that we're, that we're coming up for. Um, you've obviously got three nights now between uh, between then and now to, to put some of those and correct some of those things. Um, do you think you can get there? Because the, the weather conditions are probably not going to get much better. No, it's going to be, you know, it's not going to turn into the south of France mm -hmm. in, uh, in in seven days, is it? Um, so we're going to have to deal with that. But I don't see, I don't see it as been a right, let's throw everything out of the window and start again because we've we've built up um, uh, some systems and some some techniques and things that are that are robust enough to make us competitive in this division against teams like York, teams like Barrow, teams like Keithley, as we showed last week. Um, so it's just a matter of, of, of reinforcing that and, and getting the players to be able to take that from the training field out onto the playing field. Now weather, weather fatigues um, a, a, a consideration. I don't know whether that's got an influence on things. I'm not sure. I don't think it has. I, I just think it's a concentration thing. You know, the players of they know the systems that we've got. They know the way that we want to play. And I could probably take them now up to the training field and they could execute them perfectly against opposed against each other. Uh, but it's a matter of taking it out there and when, when somebody's really genuinely coming at you trying to knock your block off can you execute it then can you be clear can you be accurate and, and that's, the, that's the thing that we need to get right OK well we'll look forward to next week and see if we can uh, change fortunes okay. thank you very much <coughs>